and still talking about Tehran. While the bad weather is being blamed for the helicopter crash of Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi, there are also questions being raised over the condition of the four-decade-old helicopter, the chopper that crashed in Iran, killing the country's president and foreign minister in Mountain Fog, was a Bell 212 model. Now, the former Iranian foreign minister, Mohammad Javad Zarif, has blamed U.S. sanctions on aviation parts for the crash of the helicopter. The charge was leveled in an interview with state television. Zarif said the sanctions compromise Iran's access to modern aviation facilities. The Bell 212 entered service in 1968. Tehran bought a number of the helicopters in the 1970s when the Shah of Iran, a close U.S. ally, ruled the country. Iran continues to use many of its U.S. aircraft, including advanced jet fighters, but faces difficulties obtaining spare parts due to American sanctions. Our correspondent Susan Tehrani is now joining us live from New York. Hi, Susan. How is the U.S. viewing the news of the death of the Iranian president since a former Iranian foreign uh, minister has put the blame on U.S. sanctions that he says have barred Iran from procuring essential aviation parts? Eric, while we don't have any official statement from the United States as of yet, the experts that I talk to say that this is a classic case of deflection and owning responsibility for Iran's mis mismanagement and corruption inside the country. Iran has a long history of neglecting safety standards on the one hand and also prioritizing military spending over civilian needs on the other. It's safe to say that uh, during the JCPOA talks, the Iran nuclear talks, Iran was offered sanctions relief for its civilian aviation industry and received millions of dollars, a plane load of cash from President Obama. But yet the aviation industry continues to suffer. Uh, so, um, you know, the, on the one hand, you wonder why uh, Iranians were OK with cramming the country's president and a foreign minister into an old helicopter. Um, in such faulty weather. Uh, but on the other, it was no surprise that Iranian officials would ultimately somehow blame the United States or it was expected to blame Israel uh, for this tragic incident. All right, Susan Tehrani, live in New York. She's our correspondent there. Thank you, Susan. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.